What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have a 99 overall attribute update on my Steph Curry build. As you guys can see, this build is a 99 overall playmaking shot creator and if we take a look at the attributes, one of the things about this build is it can't dunk, but not putting attribute points into the dunk makes it way better at defense. So going through the attributes, we'll only go through the important ones here. It has an 84 driving layup, a 98 mid range, a 95 three, an 84 post fade, which isn't super important, but that's really good for a guard. Then it has 92 pass accuracy, 90 ball handle, 78 perimeter defense and lateral quickness, 81 steal, and then it's block and rebounding isn't too great, but 67 rebounding is pretty good for a point guard. And then going into the physicals, it has a 97 speed, 96 acceleration, 72 vertical, and 99 stamina. For the badges, because I wanted this build to be good at defense, I only went with one finishing badge and I have that on Acrobat. Then for shooting, this build gets 25 badges, which is pretty good, especially with the tie mid-range and three-pointer. Then it gets 21 playmaking badges, which isn't as much as the shooting, but this is definitely enough. And then when it comes to defense, I think this build is amazing because the defense is 78, which isn't amazing. I think that's good, but then the badges help it a lot to be good at defense. I forgot to mention this before, but this build does have sharp takeover. And if you guys want to know how to make this build, make sure to click the card in the top right. Going into my animations, if you guys want to know my jump shot, make sure to click the card in the top right. But let's get into these shots. So for my dribble pull up, I have athletic six. This one doesn't look too great, but it's really easy for me to time. For my spin jumper, we have normal four. This one is a pretty slow spin jumper, but that does make it easier to time and harder to contest. Just because most spin jumpers are fast, most people are gonna think it's fast. You can kind of spin through the defense with this one. For my hop jumper, I have Steph Curry. This one is super fast and also easy to time. And with the high mid range and three pointer, this build can hit these shots way easier than other builds. For my post hop shot, I have number one, and I don't use this a lot, but because I do play guard on this build, a lot of guards don't really know how to guard this. It's really big that know how to guard this, so this move is pretty good if you want an easy two and you can't get to the rim. And then for my post fade, post hook, shimmy fade, and shimmy hook, I have number three for all those. Now going into the dribble moves, I have LeBron James as my dribble style. Then for moving crossover, I have pro two. If you don't like this one, pro three is also pretty good. For my behind the back, I have pro three, and if you don't like this one, pro two is also good. For my moving spin, I use basic one. There's a really good animation you can get out of this, but if you don't like basic one, I would go with pro four. Then for the moving hezzy, I have pro one. This one is good to create space because it's a really fast hezzy. For my signature size up, I don't use this move a lot, so it's not super important, but I do have Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant is also a good one if you don't like Steph Curry. And KD's signature size up is a lot slower than Steph Curry's, but the hezzies are pretty big on this move, so, it is pretty good, I just like Steph Curry a little bit more. For the park size up, I also don't use this a lot, but I do have number 14 on. For basic size up package, I like to use number one. This one is pretty good. And I don't really use the curry slide, but if you do want the curry slide, I'm pretty sure it's either pro three or pro two that you have to use for this move. Then for the size up escape, I like pro one because it creates a lot of space. And then for triple threat styles, I use WNBA2, which sounds weird that it's not an NBA one, but this is probably the best one. Especially if you're grinding my career, this one creates a lot of space when you do a jab step. For my layup package, I use Circus. This isn't the best layup package, but it's a lot of fun to use, so I like this one a lot. And it does have that one hop step where you do the shake and bake, so that's why I like this one. And then finally for my dunks, I literally just have one dunk, which is Rim Grazers off one, so... Sometimes I can get dunk animations on this build with like a 36 dunk, but not too much. But having one dunk equipped is way better than none because dunk animations can be pretty fast, especially if they're off one, which is why I don't have Rim Grazers off two equipped because it's pretty slow. That's going to be it for the build. Once again, if you guys want to know how to make this build, make sure to click the card in the top right. And if you want my jump shot, make sure to click the end screen that should be popping up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Josh and I'm out.